That was a shortcut. What's that? that was a yeah. Shortcut. <laughs> oh, I was wrong. That got out with that twin park there. I'm just going to try and simulate that, and if that's the case, we won't bring it all the way to Ireland, I'll mention that to you. Yeah. That wind is way higher than forecast today. Yeah. It's supposed to be 5 We're knots. The wind sock's currently the indicating about 20 knots. Yep. Very um, odd. We can go ahead and probably cancel today if it's in something. Oh, due to wind? Yeah. No, it should be an issue, oh, but um, yeah. I'm just... It's just confusing because uh, they said it was going to be a light wind day. Yeah. It's not the case. Do we have to do the same thing on Um, No, we won't. Oh, sorry, when we end up doing it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Raymond Grand, Kilo Golf Juliet, System 172. Uh, Jewel in the Southern Bay received Ada Sierra for departure south, runway 17 right, quest taxi. Kilo Golf Juliet taxi, holding point Golf 2, runway 17 right. Holding point Golf 2, runway 17 right, uh, Kilo Golf Juliet. Alright, I'm just going to bring it here, have a look whether it does it again. And if it does, I won't be too happy with it, so. Okay, all well, attempts at normal operating temperature now. Just going to bring it to idle. Yeah, see how the RPM gets too low? We'll be very cautious of bringing it back. That's what's causing it. So if you can just slam it back, yeah, yeah. it will actually it stop. Yeah. Which is the case with most aircraft. Yeah, that's that's what's causing it. It's not so much the engine. It's just this cable isn't set. Switch, yeah. yeah. I think um, it should be just here. And when I yeah, so if you it feel it tight yeah. now, yeah. that's idle. We won't go any further back. That's it. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, that's normal idle. 180, 1,800, sorry. Okay. Cool. Good. Okay. Cool. Uh, yeah, you can carry on with the pre-takeoff checklist. Okay. All right. Um, brakes. I think uh, that was on the taxi. So I'm just gonna skip these, the compass, other yep. stuff on the taxi. Before start pre-flight. Um, sorry, that's not the right checklist. Uh, pre-takeoff. Uh, parked into wind. Parking brakes on. Yep. Uh, throttle, do you want me to bring it to 2500? Given that it's. Ah, uh, no, it's already warm. Bomb, so no, it's fine. It's good, now. so above 50. Okay. Uh, it's usually above 40, right? That's what we look yeah, for. Yeah, in the mornings it'll struggle, yeah, to okay, get, get up fine. to speed. Yep. Um, trim. Bringing the trim down. Uh, or up. Uh, elevator, yep, all the way down. Ground uniform Mike Victor, one alpha four C apron. Uniform Mike Victor, taxi apron. C apron uniform Mike Victor. Coming to middle, now going back up. Uh, she's then with information to Sierra request taxi one seven uh, right. Hang on. Yep. Tango, okay. Tango taxi Trim golf two one seven right. Trim to student set to take off. Uh, golf two one seven right. Yeah, ignition is both masters on. Uh, pitch not applicable. Fuel pump. Always get confused with ox pump and fuel pump. Okay, fuel pump on, fuel selector, switch tank to uh, left and reset time, which is the timing. Yeah, so I see that TMR button. Yeah, that's it. Timer start. That's it. Touch here, that's good. Um, switch tanks and start timer done. Fuel pump off. Flaps. Okay, so where is my flaps? Button? Yeah, this one's a weird one. This is the buttons. Okay, so that's a that's a little high tech. Yeah. But take both sides. I do like the other system better though. Good to, yeah. You can actually see where it's set. Okay, all the way down. Being good, both sides. Uh, bringing back up. Okay, um, flaps checked and up. 
instrument. Okay, left to right. So yeah, the S speed is zero, which is yeah, that's as zero as that one gets. Yep, starts to good. Um, then a ball is slightly off, but uh, that's yeah, that's fine. fine. So our altimeter is around yeah 100, which is fine, which we're above the ground level. Then coming to this, yeah. Okay, I'm just going to leave it up here because this yeah, one does run out of battery true. juice. That's what causes uh, okay. the radio issue. Okay. No worries, um, we are at level, so yeah, the uh, true airspeed is less, we are at 100, that's all good, our heading is... Go on, 164 is what we want there. Okay. Four, enter. Okay, so, uh, heading and altitude, is, we can set to 2,500, that's good. Okay, um, oil temperature we already checked, uh, it's around 71, greater than 40, that's good. Okay, so now bringing the throttle to yep. 4,000 RPM. That's it. Okay, so that's at 4,000 RPM, good. Okay, uh, the beautiful one. Okay, left, drop off around, yeah, 70. Bring it back to both. If it's back, it's now going to right. And I can drop off 100, now coming back to both. It's back, and one is the other thing that you check pressures, right? Or the pressure. Mm. Ah, that was during the fuel tank fuel change, which is fuel. Yep. 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 Uh, so, now max drops, so I'll bring it to idle slowly. Yep. Just start uh, pulling back around, too far. Keep going. Uh, Straight park off, hold short 17 right. Holding short 117 right. Yeah, that's off. fine. I think that's idle, I yep, guess. Yeah, that's yep. pretty close. Cool. So, idle. Now bringing back to 2000. Off and Bravo, cross 17 right to the apron. All we'll do is we'll set 2500 just for this uh, okay. aircraft radio. Uh, yeah, that one will do. Okay, that's fine. Controls. Mike Tango, Sierra Golf 217 right. Yep. 24 Golf 217 right, Mike Tango, Sierra Golf 217 Yep, free and clear. Hatchison harness. Good. Yep, all done. Okay, uh, that's pre takeoff complete. Now is the favorite radio call, so we are on Southern Ronabe. Sorry, Northern uh, Ronabe. Northern Ronabe. Northern Ronabe. Okay, and uniform, uniform, Tango. Okay, and uh, we are going for 17 right. For an upwind departure. For an upwind departure, and they will ask us to go to golf, right? Uh, no, golf two. Golf two. Yep. Okay. Uh, now making the radio call. Motorwind ground, sling to uniform, uniform tango on northern run up bay in receipt of information. Sierra, request taxi to runway 17 right for upwind departure. Uniform, uniform tango, taxi holding point golf 217 right. Holding point goes 217 right, uniform, uniform tango. Cool, alright. I uh, just put it up to 3000 because uh, it helps the radio. It just generates enough oh, electricity okay. for it. I for a while was wondering That's what's fine. the connection with radio and stuff, then I realized you talked about the battery. Yeah. Yep, our beautiful uniform, uniform tango. All right. All right, let's uh, go. Free landing is all complete. So we Thanks. need to start moving now because we yep. got a clearance. Yep. Uh, do I need this too? Uh, yep, you can just tuck it away there. Okay. Let me know when you're ready to take over. Uh, yep. Okay, I'm just going to bring the power back. Yep, yep, we're going off to the right. You have yep. control. Put yeah, your hand control. on the brake. Okay. Okay, and keep turning right. And we're going to holding point golf 2. Okay, so go straight and then see the golf turn, on, turn right. Strata clouds or Cal yeah, strata. Right here. Okay, a little bit more turning. Yeah, more rapid ground kilo X for uniform Cessna one seven two on Foxtrot one. Request taxi to the apron. And get on the center line, which is off to your right. Kilo x 
X-ray uniform. Left turn to the apron. There we go. Left turn to the apron, Might kilo X-ray uniform. A little bit, that's uh, too much. Too it is hard to taxi this thing because we are taxiing at a high power setting. That's it, right turn up ahead. I'm trying to slow down a little bit. If it's struggling, you can't break the power back slightly. That's fine. Okay, so the golf tee. Okay. Good. Doing one more right turn here. Correct. You can see the sign saying golf yep, two yep, up yep. there. The black background just means that's uh, where yeah, you presently cheater, are. Cheater. Yep. And start bringing the power back now. Oh, so you're going to struggle to stop here. Yeah. Oh, Go on, once you come here, put your park brake on. Yep, Good that's job. enough. Yep. Go. Okay. Cool. All right, do your lineup checks. So check, there's a check, there's Okay, it's my bad. Okay, uh, fuel pump on. Lap set to take off. Uh, Avian is set to current and next frequency, so I'm gonna switch to next frequency. And the next frequency after that? After that is 137. 1357. Sorry, 135.7. Bravo Tower, Cessna 172, Sierra Yankee Echo okay. is at 1400. Uh, uh, on. Landing. Yeah, throw them all on. Landing, landing taxi, strobe and nav. That'll do. Northbound in the VFR. Good, and yeah, transport to out mode. Yeah. Northbound, about two miles opposite so the direction of the road. So it's supposed to go to 1200, alt mode? No, no, just uh, 3000, yeah, yeah, alt mode, because we're in Morabin's airspace. Okay. Um, trim check. Clear to land. Clear to land, Yep, trim check. Uh, we don't heat. It's not on this here, right. Hatches and harness are secured. Okay. Cool. Lineup checklist complete. Awesome. So you're just going to wait for him. He's been yep. cleared to land. Yep. When he's directly in front of you here, yeah. you're going to make your radio call. Okay. Do you remember your radio call? Yep. Sling to uniform, uniform tango, uh, run, um, once. All right. Uh, okay. Yeah, so it's just Moorabbin Tower, okay. uniform, uniform tango is ready runway 17 right for an okay. upwind departure to the training area. Okay. Cool, so get ready on the stack. Yep, you can start making it now. Moorabbin Tower, sling to uniform, uniform tango, 17 right ready for upwind departure for training area. Uniform, uniform tango, line up and wait. Line up and wait, uniform, uniform tango. Good. Now just release the park brake and we line up with the center line. Oh. Yeah, it's got a lot of power on. You can reduce the power. Easy. Go on, just come to a stop. Just hold on to the brake. Come to a stop. Don't waste too much runway. That's it. And now just wait. I think he's waiting for that. Yeah, left hand on the stick. Keep it in the center. There's a slight crosswind from the left. Um, uniform, uniform, tango, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, uniform, uniform, tango. All right, hand on the throttle now. Eyes forward, power on, full power, right up for center line. That's it, keep your hand on there. Go, accelerate, he's a piece on the green, airspeed's alive, 55 knots, gently easing back. Gently easing back, there we go. Dashboard on the horizon, don't lift it too much. You're okay. lifting it too much. Push okay. forward slightly, there yep. you go. Tracking the runway centre line, a little bit of right rudder. A little bit of right rudder, yeah, that's it, good. Don't go towards the other runway. 300 feet, flaps to the up position. Fuel pump off, auxiliary pump. Uh, yep, and landing light off. That's it, that's the after takeoff checks complete. After takeoff complete. Yeah, climbing straight up ahead now. Okay, and we're looking for the golf court. And we are 
little bit faster, isn't it? 85 or is it the right speed? Yeah, that's fine. 90 okay. to 85 is okay. Uh, if anything, just come right a tiny bit. Now, can you see that pier over there? Yeah. So when we have beamed that, we'll turn left. Okay. And you'll see a golf course below you on your bottom left. Can yep. you see the golf course? Yep. Okay. When we're on the completely on the other side, yep. that's when we turn. If okay. anything, just come left a little bit. That okay. crosswind's just blowing you across. Okay. That's it. Cool. Let's keep going straight for now. Yep. Keep that right rudder in. It has to stay there as long as the full power is on. Yep. Now, have we gone past that golf course? A little bit more, and I think yes, we are okay. almost towards the Now, lane. just a gentle heading adjustment to remain in the lane. That's it, good roll out. And now track this, and you can bug this heading. There you go. Climbing to 2,000 to 2,500 feet. Okay. Thank you, Victor. X-ray tower, maintain 2,500 over for the field, or transit overhead, sorry, in contact 118.1 over the field. Maintain 2,500 and then 118.1 uh, over the over top of the field. Echo, Victor, X-ray. Sierra Yank Echo, toast with me. Uh, Sierra Yank Echo, go ahead. Sierra Yank Echo, traffic is okay, don't go too far and land. Sorry, 2,300 unverified. You keep turning Zero left, Santos. Sorry, inbound. Yeah, that's it. Just uh, at land enough. Yeah. Yeah. This hotel, uh, this heading's fine now. Yep. Just don't go any yeah, farther yeah, left. Okay. Okay. Look for your yeah. Mitra 10 store. Sorry. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, we are reaching that's almost right. there. Cool. Yeah. So yeah, just keep an eye on that. When you yeah. beam that, you're going to switch to 1357 and score 1200. Sorry, what was 1200, you said? That's the squawk code for oh, okay, VFR okay, okay, fly, okay. sorry, for uncontrolled flying. Transponder, okay. Cool. Currently doing an upwind climb at around 75 knots, reaching 2300. Uh, we'll level out around. Yep, start uh, leveling, leveling out now. Uniform inbound on the that's it. Uh, the power to to one, yeah, that's it. Make sure that nose doesn't go back up. Power come back nice and quick. Yep. Come back. Yep, that's it. Good. Yep. All right. Now okay. we pass Mantra 10. A uh, little bit. We're still probably. Okay. Guess, then make see. sure you don't go above 2,500 until you're uh, past yep, it. Yep, yep. Cool. Yeah. That's pretty much a beam. So you yeah, can good. click. All right, do you see that little VFR button? Yep. Press that. And it switches it to 1200 for you. Now...
other 500. 600 feet to go. to go. Echo okay, the Fire Delph, climb two, two flight level one, two, zero. Flight level one, two, zero, echo the Fire Delph. to go. Start anticipating it on 50, uh, PAST. Melbourne Inland, uh, okay. yeah, Archer, Rumi, Shai, Rumi, no, 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 Slightly get to a climb altitude a little bit, so if and then back, uh, re trim for the level flight. Yep, just re trimming. Yep, so we're getting back to 95, step on the ball, try to balance out on the left. Cool, I want you to do a medium level turn onto a heading of 300. Three the way you're going to set this up yes, is by okay. using, uh, whoops, wrong one, uh, this knob here like that. Yep, yeah, yep. so the little one, yep. And you can choose which way you want to turn. Um, turn left. Sure. Oh. Press yeah, the don't click it. Currently I'm climbing, so I'm just trying to reduce yep. that while I was doing this. Uh, so our fuel is at 24. Uh, sorry, I can't see the 30. Okay. Uh, so 24, so medium turn. I'm going to turn left, so my heading is set. Uh, look out left, center, center, right, no aircraft, so starting my medium level left turn, banking to 30 degrees. Oh, bit just try and lose that extra uh, 100 feet at the turn. Uh, okay. Quick cancellation of flight following. Council of Fire COVID uh, identification is terminated. Get all the way uh, at 30, uh, at 15 at the moment. All the way in. There you go. And try and lose that extra height. And uh, also anticipate their rollout. Don't roll out, it's, it's not helping you. There we go. Eyes out. Bit too early. There we go, roll out now. Cool. Alright, and what we'll do is a uh, best angle of climb. Do you remember the speed for that? The minimum you can best angle of climb. Uh, climb is anyway is no, Best angle of climb is uh, 75. Yeah, cool. So 85 is cruise, 75 is best rate. Yep. And best angle is about 65. Yeah, it's about 68. Okay. Yeah, cool. All right, so let's go and do that. Make sure you pick another heading because you're just turning into the middle of nowhere. Yeah. Bug your heading. And away you go. Best angle of flight. Okay, so best angle of flight. So 2,500 feet. 2,500, and my timer is coming up, so let's. Yeah, we'll do that after. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Uh, so, okay. Um, PAST, so I'm going to do a full power throttle, then bring up the nose and yep. then keep it up there um, until we reach the last of All right. the throttle. So P, then rising mouth. Keep bringing the nose up. Until we get the 65. 68, yep, 68. right about there, a little bit higher probably, but your rudder hasn't moved at all. you got to remember when you go full power, you got to throw that in. Yep. Cool. Now keep your hand on throttle and maintain your heading bug. Keep an eye on your altitude. Yep. Okay. 
Yep. 2,000, another 500 to go. 400 to go. Alright, this time you're going to really anticipate, okay? Yep. And that nose has got to come down a long way from where it is right now. Yep, so another 200 to go. I'm starting to anticipate it at around 100. So I'm trying to now bring back my attitude to... Cool. Now as you bring the power back, the nose is going to want to go up because you're not yep. looking outside. Yep. Make sure you keep an eye on outside as well. Okay. So bring that power back quicker. There you go. Nice, that nose didn't even move that time. Very good. Beautiful. And... Okay, and then you can get that tank change now. Fuel pump on. Change. Fuel pump off. Alright, cool. I have control. You have control. Cool, so... Just take a little break. You always sound like you getting stabbed in the back or something when you're doing manoeuvres. <laughs> Uh, it's, it's just not bad or fool. things happening <laughs> in the mind, you know. Suddenly when you ask for the speed, the, everything is, I remember it on the ground, but suddenly... So saturation just, of information. Yeah, looking at all of this. Uh, all right, so what we're going to do is I'm going to fly a mock circuit, then we're going to head back. Okay. So see that roundabout over there? Yep. That's going to be the start of our runway, and we're going to land into that direction, even though okay. we should be technically... Actually, yeah. that roundabout style of the runway, yeah. our runway runs yeah. long ways we'll towards the wind. Yep. Yep. Okay? Yep. We're going to pretend, I'm actually going to lose some height here, going to go down to 1,000. We're going to pretend 1,000 feet is ground level. Okay. And I'm just going to run through a scenario, I'm just going to lose this height. Uh, I'm going to run through a scenario off a circuit. So this is going to be a standard circuit. Now, if I was to find a standard circuit, Santosh, yeah. um, what direction would I turn in? Left. Left. And what would the altitude of that circuit be on thousand, height? 1,000 feet. Sorry? 1,000. 1,000 feet. Yeah, yeah thousand. that makes it a standard circuit. Yep. Go. Cool. Just make sure no one's around. Cool. So the circuit is incredibly busy, and you are 100% going to be stressed. Times you're going to get frustrated with me, other times I'm going to get frustrated with you. Um, it's a great test of relationships. If you bring your girlfriend up here, you will be definitely divorced or single by the end of a circuit's lesson. Okay, that's, uh, <laughs> thanks for the tip. I think I should get my wife in. Yeah. <laughs> so, Hotel Yankee X -ray uh, main thing one is... We want, uh, everyone goes through this, it's just a saturation of um, information and skill put in together and it feels like it's impossible after the first circuit and then you'll be sitting there like how the hell am I going to learn how to fly? Don't worry, this is literally what everyone goes through. Um, but what happens is after about the third time doing circuits, you adapt really, really well. And you'll be actually quite surprised of yourself as you come along. But unfortunately, this is the only way we can teach it. Yep. So we've got our runway up ahead. Yep. Um, we're going to put us in the configuration that we would be for takeoff, which will be one stage of flat. And you can see my nose is slightly off to the right. That's because yeah. of the crosswind, crosswind. at the moment. Yep. But yeah, let's pretend there's a zero airspeed right now. We'll be cleared to take off. We're just lining up the runway center line. Everything's pretty good. I should probably not descend below a thousand feet over a populated area. Try yep. and keep myself legal. It's alright, it's my neighborhood there anyway, so I'm just bothering my partner. She's probably in bed on a Sunday. There we go, 1,000 feet. Yep. And okay, we're going to take off now. So we go full power, we're accelerating along 55 knots. Yep. Gonna raise that nose up. Obviously, we want to accelerate that quick. Yeah, I just had to watch that. Yep. Cool. Now we would leave that down okay. until 300 feet. Just okay, we're just running through the whole scenario. Yep. Yep. So climbing away, yep. 300 feet. We've got a positive rate of climb. Yep. Flaps up. up. Fuel pump off. Landing light off. Now we're climbing away on upwind yep. and approaching 500 feet. About 400 feet here. We're gonna do a lookout clear right. Center, center, left. What we're going to do here is a climbing turn. Okay. Just going to extend this out. 500 feet, we're allowed to turn officially. Yep. You can't turn below 500 feet legally. Okay. Climbing turn, 15 degrees, left hand turn. Okay. 
about halfway through the turn, we do exactly what you're doing right now, which is looking over your shoulder to check for the spacing with the runway. Around this part of Crosswind, we are going to start reaching our 1,000 feet. So, now the big thing here is to do it, get it done quickly, the level out. Okay, now looking back, I'm 90 degrees, arriving at 1,000 feet. Everything's looking pretty good. I'm going to go through attitude, speed, power trim, attitude down, power back quickly, just like that. Don't be, uh, don't stare at that too long. Now, we're on crosswind, so what we need to do is the lookout clear on the right, centre, centre, left, and we're going to do a medium level turn onto downward now. And in the turn, I'm going to get a radio call, and it's going to go uniform, uniform, tango, turns downwind, touch and go. Okay. Now we'll go, yeah. Uniform, uniform, tango, follow the Cessna on base. And I'll just go, uniform, uniform, tango. Okay. I even copied the angry voice as they did it. So as you can see, now the runway's beside us there. Yeah. And we're going to go through a thing called HHSS, height 1000, yeah. heading parallel and opposite the runway. Yeah. And the spacing, you can see that the runway cuts one third of the way in from the wingtip there, at least one for me. Third. Okay, yep, yep that's same for me. Along. Yeah, yep. so that's appropriate spacing. Next thing okay. is separation. Our traffic is over there. Okay. So now what we're going to do is a pre landing checks. Park brake off, pressure checked, undercarriage fixed, mixture of masters, magnetos are all on, fuel pump on. We've changed the tank, have we? Yep. And it's so switches landing light on, hatch is harness secure. Now if you look at the runway, it's behind us and about approaching that 45 degree mark for the runway threshold. Okay. So at this point what we do is we start slowing down. So look at what happens up ahead. This is really important. Okay. Power back to 3,500 and I'm holding the nose attitude up. That allows us to slow down, put one stage of flap, clear right, centre, centre, left, and then we start a turn. Now the turn I'm trimming for 75 knots. What that does is it puts us into an approach descent. Hence why it's called the approach descent. So now we've got our runway over there. Now naturally we'll be a little bit closer than this, but I was just... And the perspective's all wrong because we're at a different height. But yeah, we're just effectively descending down. Now, we can't turn onto final below 500 feet. That's blatantly illegal and dangerous. The main thing is, I'm controlling my speed with attitude okay. on base. So I'm exactly on 75, that's good. And if I want to descend more, let's say I'm really high, I'll bring the power back and I'll lower the nose for 75. That would increase my descent rate. If I'm too uh, low, I'll put the power on. I don't want to accelerate, so I raise the nose to maintain 75 and my descent rate reduces. So. Um, the main thing there is to always remain at your approach speed. Okay. Now as you can see, we're getting a little bit low, we're only 500 feet. Yeah, I've got a bit sight. Now we're getting a little bit low, we're at 500 feet, I can't descend below that for the turn. So I'm just holding 75 with a high power setting, 500 feet. Clear right, centre, centre, left, there's my runway. I'm going to shortly start a turn, making sure I'm above 500 feet for the turn. You can descend once you start turning. So here we go, I'm starting my turn and I'll reduce that power back down to maintain 75, that'll start my descent again and I'm going to go two stages of flat and I'm going to reduce my speed now to 70. Now the way I fly it is if you imagine, this one's a bit bent but they normally sit like that, if you imagine a laser beam coming out of it, you want it pointing at that roundabout. And that means that the aircraft is going to travel down to that point. And it allows you to control your speed with power. And right now I'm four knots too fast, so I can bring the power back. Because my nose is fixed in its position, the speed will start to come down. Conversely, if I'm too slow, I'll put power on. Cool. And that's the circuit, essentially. Alright. looks easy. It is. It is. <laughs> uh, no, look. Once you get used to flying it, it is easy, but it's the hard part is getting to that point because uh, it's a lot of workload. I remember my first stick driving. The first day I took my car out for the stick driving, I said I'll never be able to do it. Yeah, that was and then you just adapt. It becomes natural, right? It's like I recollect after three days, then I said, ah, that was. It's 
I, I, I still recollect that because that day I said, I think I'm not going to drive. Yeah. Uh, this is not happening. I need to go back to automatic, but yeah. No, you get used to it pretty yeah. quick. Yeah, and that skill stays with you yeah. permanently. Uh, even if you don't drive for a couple of years, you jump yeah. in, you know, and it's exactly the same here. You're going to be a little bit rusty, obviously, but yeah, you come back to it. All right, dude. So where I'm heading to now is Cranbourne Racecourse. Remember that railway line on the other side? Yep. We're going to try and spot that. Okay. Uh, it's hard to spot, but railway lines are usually fringed by a hedge of trees in Australia. Oh, okay. Um, in yeah. fact, if you look over there, can you see a train? I see the train. Uh, yeah, the so that's our railway track. Oh, okay. So that's, okay. I can yeah. see that cross line. Yep. So what we're going to do is we're just going to loop around and we're going to okay. put that la railway track on your side of the aircraft. Okay. And in the meantime, I want you to tune in the ATIS and copy down the ATIS if it's changed. Still Sierra. And what frequency are we going to put in the secondary? Uh, our 118.1. That's so it. On Let's put east. that in. Yep. 118.1. Very yep. good. Awesome. So now we've got that railway line coming in. Yep. Thank got to put it on left side. And remember that next um, thing we were going to spot once we got onto the railway line? Uh, uh, railway line, yep. mine, oh, mine, and then uh, the nature yeah. strip. See the yep. railway line? There was a yep. golf course to the bottom of it. That's that yeah, that's area the there. Yeah, that open uh, flat area okay. is the mine, yeah. Okay. It's a quarry of some sort. Cool, so we spotted that. So the next thing we're trying to spot is a nature strip coming across, okay. which we won't be able to see yet. But the main thing is we are anticipating it. So, once we do get to GMH, what's your uh, radio call going to be? Um, Morabin Tower, a sling to uniform from Tango, overhead GMH, 1,500 feet, in receipt of information, Sierra, inbound. That's it, good. Okay, All right, all right so we're coming along. Tower, roger, line up. So I've already tuned in our runway heading, 164, yep. 1,500 feet, come past the mine. Now we're trying to spot a nature, nature strip, strip running across. It's quite a large one. Okay. Um, it's just a non-built up area in between the houses and the factories on the other side of the white roofs. Really? I'd love to see that. Somewhere there. Yeah, you're spotting something? Yeah. yeah. So that continues on. Oh, okay. Remember, as long as we keep our railway line, okay. nature strip, GMH is directly ahead of us on the other side. Okay. Now, it's incredibly okay. hard to okay. find. What you're looking for is a triangular-shaped okay. roof that looks like that. Okay. okay. Um, you'll be able to spot a black roof yeah, with little white that. silos. Yeah. It's actually not that. It's okay. to the uh, left of that. But if you spot that, that's good. Okay. You just yeah, have to tell you. The black. Yep. Yeah, so it's actually the left of that. Okay. Cool. So we are on a current heading off there, so you can definitely see the nature strip. Yep. Um, That's the this might have used to be a really good VFR point, but since then the city's expanded yep. and everything looks the same. The other thing you can use is black roof. Yep. See the little golf ball on the T kind of water tower? Yep, yep. Yeah, so directly in the middle of that okay. is where GMH is. Okay. Okay. Uh, We're actually headed straight for it. So it's a little building straight ahead that's got white sided triangles on it. Okay. We're heading oh, okay. straight for you. See it? Three white side triangles. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's it. Oh, okay. And there's a black triangle. There's a red something on the other side? Yeah, so on this side. Yep. Yeah. Cool. So we got GMH there. Okay. And we're getting ready for the radio call. Papa Hotel India, Southern Apron, report airborne and make a uh, left turn. Left turn, Papa Hotel India. Victor Charlie India, Moraman Tower, just a short delay. Victor Charlie India. 
Mora Vintar, Sling 2, Uniform Uniform Tango, over at GMH, 1500 feet, receive information, Sierra, inbound. Uniform Uniform Tango, Mora Vintar, join base from my 17 left, to report at Sandown. Base 17 left and Wilco, Uniform Uniform Tango. That was exactly like we proved. Yeah, you're number one on the grass. So sand down is a little bit hard to see today because of the haze. Yep. It's that. Uniform, uniform tango, you just stepped on there. Confirm uh, base runway 17 left. Base 17 left, Darren Porter. Over here. Sand down, uniform, uniform tango. Uniform, uniform tango. Go. All right. So sand down is directly ahead. It's that long grass strip with a okay. lake in the middle. Yep. So we're going down to 1,000 feet by then. And then we're going to turn uh, left Charlie to join India. base. You can Great actually see Morabin over there. It's like yeah, a big yeah, green yeah, field. Yeah. Remember, brother Alpha, turn down wind once the lift touch and go. Remember, brother Alpha, So you can track this uh, road or. Is it? Yeah, I don't know. It's the same, right? We'll track. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Charlie Quebec. Thank you. Cool, so what we can do is a uh, pre land checks, park brake is off, off. pressure checked, undercarriage is fixed, mixture master magnetos, fuel pump on, and switches, landing lights on, hatches harness secure. Coming down to a thousand, now she said report over sand down, and I'm just going to say uniform, uniform tango, over at sand down. See that chimney? Yeah, yeah. yeah, if you point straight towards there f uh, from Sandown, that okay. puts you on a really good base for that runway. Okay. There's a car flying under. Yeah, they're in the circuit, yeah. So this is why it's really important to get the traffic information. We do need to identify the correct traffic that we're following in. So right now someone's on late downwind. Yeah. They'll shortly turn base. There we go, they're turning base yep. now, so we've identified one, there may be others. Okay. the sand down. Oh, whoops, we've got about that, 3,000. Clear, right, centre, centre. Uniform, uniform, tango, request you make one all that, uh, and then report again, approaching send down. Understood, yeah, uniform, uniform, tango. Thank you. Cool, so an orbit is just a right one turn, just like we practised. Because she needs some time to get... November Bravo, That's it. Alpha, clear touch and go. Clear touch and go, November Bravo, Alpha. Three off the Melbourne city. Up Victor Charlie India, early downwind for full stop. Victor Charlie India, number one. Victor Charlie India. So traffic guys just downwind now. God, that's who we're trying to avoid. I can see him right on the uh, three o'clock. Yeah, that's him. Yeah, spot on. And uniform, uniform tango, orbit complete, overhead sand down. Uniform, uniform tango, thanks, follow a Cessna early base. Traffic sighted, uniform, uniform tango. Cool, so I've got my traffic sighted, I'm going to point towards my chimney, make sure I'm wind corrected. And the way I know is that it's not going to move sideways. Go, I need a little bit more left aileron. And once up there, I'll just roll my wings level. Cool, my pre-landing checks are done. It's too early to slow down for base because we're really far away from the runway. There's a flash Victor Charlie up. India, clear to land. Clear to land, Victor Charlie India. 
light blinking. At the tower, or? No, it's, I don't know. Oh, yeah, the... that'll be the, um, that'll be a hospital there or something, I'm not sure. Okay, so, um, uh, yep, that's it. Yeah. And I'm um, 90 degrees right. to my heading. Yep. So I'm just wind correcting myself a little bit more. Uh, they're in the circuit, yeah, so they'll oh, be okay. following us. Okay. Cool, so you can see the runway's coming into view now. We're yep. getting ready to slow down very right, soon. Right, in fact, power and comes back now, 3,500. There we go, speed is coming back. I'm holding my nose attitude. 85, flaps one, trim for 75. Okay, now if you look at the runway, I'm going to reduce my power a little bit because I'm high, and I'm going to maintain the attitude for 75 knots. The trick to this is having really good trim because the aircraft flies itself and you're just there for bumps. Coming in, clear right, centre, centre, left. You can see someone landing on the runway. Yeah. We don't want to be below 500 feet coming into the turn, which we're not. And we're going to start a nice, gentle little turn onto final. Going to watch the centre line right onto the centre of our aircraft, maintaining 75 knots. I'm going to set my laser pointer on the piano keys, and you put down two stages of flap and reduce speed to 70. There we go. Now I'm going below 500, which I'm allowed to do now. Yeah, I've got my laser pointer set. Uniform, uniform, tango, clear to land. Clear to land, uniform, uniform, tango. And that's a final step, got a landing clearance. Alright, and just keep the nose nice and still. I'm reducing my power to get back to 70. It's a constant process. Now, as the runway goes below the nose, can you see that? Yeah. Your eyes go up to the tree line. Yeah. And then power's gently going to come back to idle. There we go. Fly level. And we're going to gently raise the nose. There we go. And be patient. Main gear. Flying the nose gear down. And coming on with the brakes. Door coming off. Sorry, the only reason I did that landing is because I was I can't identify what's wrong with this aircraft. It's actually a generator uh, alternator issue. Oscar, it only kicks in a certain times of flight. Right now it's discharging because that's why that red light's on. All right, so once we come past here, and we bring the whole aircraft past the holding point. And then we do the clean-up checks, which is exactly the inverse of the line-up checks. So the after-landing checks is what they're called. After landing, you have fuel pump off. Flaps up. Avionics set current frequency to ground. Good. Switches landing off. Yeah, uh, turn off all your lights. Okay. So... Yep. That's okay. Uh, transponder code check for three thousand. Standby mode. Uniform is on taxiway Alpha Five. Request taxiway apron. Uniform uniform taxiway apron. Taxiway apron. Uniform uniform. There we go. And I'll listen to my radio call here. Bravo ground uniform uniform tango at Bravo. Request taxi back to apron. Four seconds. Oops. Received Sierra. We're going to spin taxi to runway 17 right. I just stepped on. Uniform, uniform, tango, hold short 17 right. Hold short 17 right, uniform, uniform, tango. Station for circuits, taxi holding point golf, runway 17 left. Taxi holding point golf, runway 17 left, uniform, November X-ray. Uniform, November X-ray. So he wants me to hold short a run 17 right which is up here, but I can't cross that next holding point. He will re-clear re me once that runway's got no one on it. Right. 
Uniform, uniform tango on Bravo, cross 17 right to the apron. On Bravo, 17 right to the apron, uh, uniform, uniform tango. Foxtrot, Foxtrot, Zulu, take the Odin Point Golf, runway 17 left. Odin Point Golf, runway 17 left, Foxtrot, Foxtrot, Zulu. Yeah, that's why I wanted to leave that uh -huh. still on. Yeah, no, that's fine. But so anyway, doesn't work. Well, technically you're right. We're meant to have that on uh, whenever we are changing runway. Sorry, crossing a runway. Push, push, push. So let the uh, sling through off Bravo and also the diamond and then taxi behind them, please. Ground swing, Zulu Sierra Delta, Southern Run-Up Bay, Receive Sierra, request taxi 17 right, help you departure training area. Zulu Sierra Delta, taxi holding point Golf 2, 17 right. Taxi holding point Golf 2, 17 right, Zulu Sierra Delta. Raven Ground, Cessna 152, India Victor Go. Tango in the north of Run-Up Bay for circuit. Well and truly despise this aircraft. I didn't think I could hate something that was inanimate, but this is it. Because it makes it so hard to teach. Um, yeah, because you're trying to see what yeah, could be wrong, it could be student's issue, it could be an aircraft issue. So. Taxing the aircraft with this much power and this much brake, yeah, those, I'm surprised those wheels are on fire <laughs> at this point. Those brakes must be so hot. Is this a new one that they kept out? That's all yeah, they bought it down for um, Brisbane, I believe. Oh, nice. So is that an RA US uh, registered as well? Correct, yeah, that one's ARIA. That's on the ARIAs now. It used, we used to have quite a few, but um, there's not much interest for RA in at it Moorabbin, because it's a controlled airport anyway. Yeah. Again, they say you can fly that here only if you have a VH registered anyway, because yeah. RA, you are never supposed to come near the... Yeah, we do have an exemption for it, but yeah, you're right. Um, cool. Anyways, go through the shutdown checks, I'll get the numbers. Down. Parking brakes on. Yep. Um, throttle 2000. It's already about 2000. Yeah, that's but fine. I just try to bring it down to 2000. Yep. But I will leave it at 25. No, I'll just bring it down to 2000. That's fine. Please stay there. Okay. Uh, flaps down. Bionics and radio. Seven. Run up there.